Yo, what is going on guys, it's Megavirus here, and in today's video we are playing Royal Recruit um, with Evo Archers. Um, it's really, really strong. Uh, I'm preferring the version with a faster cycle, um, but uh, to each their own, you can also run it um, with some other stuff. But I really like the ability to like split archers behind um, recruits, I think it's um, kind of nice synergy, and obviously um, you pretty much need two Evos. Um, though I think this is one of the few decks I would be fine without it. I honestly think it might even be better without the two Evos. Um, but at the same time, switching Zappies for Archers really isn't a big deal. Well, that sucks. That, that princess is locked onto the pigs. Oh, there. It only did one shot, so. Just gonna barbell this and take any damage we take on the other side. They're all hit from the E-Spirit, so we shouldn't do too much. Um, interesting, we're playing against Logbait. I... Wonder what the full deck is. Um, but also, I just wanted to apologize for my really weird upload schedule lately. Um, obviously, I try to upload daily. That's what it says in my... Um, uh, what, I don't know what it's called. I want to say bio, but that makes it sound like a Tinder profile. Um, but yeah, I try to upload every day at 5.15. I'm sh uh, some people might know that. Um, but lately, so, uh, there's been a lot of things going on. Um, some of you might know from my past videos, I am in college. Uh, I'm also trying to find a job just to have money. <laughs> um, uh, I, I've often shared how much I make off YouTube. So if anybody's curious, it like if I upload every day and it gets around like 200 views per video, um, I would make like $40 a month. Um, obviously there is some exceptions, but my RPM is about $3, so you can do that. That's uh, revenue per mile or revenue per 1,000 views, so $3 per 1,000 views. Um, generally, it takes me like five videos or five days to get that, so um, you can imagine how little I'm making off YouTube. So obviously that's not anything that's going to become full-time in the future. Um, so that leaves me to uh, look for a job to have money, um, and it's been really difficult for me because I am not willing to do a job I feel embarrassed at. Um, for example, um, I have worked these jobs, by the way. Um, I used to work at Walmart, and I used to work at um, a school, like cleaning, janitor, basically, um, as well as helping with maintenance. I did both of those things, and I really... I don't know, I felt... Not that it's an embarrassing job, I don't want to, like, discredit anybody that does those things, it's just, I don't know, when I'm there, I feel, I don't know, I just can't take pride in it, and honestly, I am embarrassed, but that, that's not to say I don't, like, respect that job or whatever. Anyways, I'm rambling, I'll continue it later, hopefully that doesn't cause any controversy, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next match. But, like I was saying, not that I don't respect those jobs, I've did them both, and I, you know, I've met a lot of nice people from that, um, but just, like, me personally, it's something I wouldn't tell anybody I ever, like, I would never tell anybody I did that, and I want, I want to do something a little better, or something that would potentially help my resume in the future, not just something that I'm doing just for work. I would like something that I could put on my resume, whereas if I worked those jobs, I would just have to not include them in my resume. I mean, I could, but it wouldn't be worth anything to anybody. Um, I guess that's kind of what I mean. Hopefully that makes sense, but yeah. Um, so my job search, I'm trying to find something decent that can maybe go on a resume, but not um, that I'm also not embarrassed with. Um, I guess the a good example of what I've, I've been applying to is I've applied to be like a pharmacy tech, which obviously they usually most places um, help you get your license um, for it. So I would just go go in there, kind of get trained, get my license, and then uh, I thought that Dark Prince was good today, um, and then go from there. But yeah, anyways, I'll stop rambling, start focusing on the game. I just kind of wanted to explain why my upload schedule has been so uh, bad. And there's also some other stuff going on, but I don't want to get into everything um, as far as, like, relationship stuff and things like that. Um, but there has been something going on there as well, so... 
that's why that's why the upload is all messed up. Anyways, let's actually focus on the game. Um, we've been doing pretty well. This deck kind of plays itself um, for the most part. You cycle recruits in the bag, you cycle archers in the bag, and then you pigs when they don't have a good answer in cycle. For example, this guy has a great answer in Dark Prince, um, as well as um, Princess is a little annoying for it. So you kind of want to try to get in with those, and then your flying machine... Um, Usually can manage to sneak in some damage like it did there. It barely has to cross the bridge to take shots, so it's um, it can be pretty overwhelming. Um, so we, yeah, you'll see here, we're just gonna cycle everything in the back. Um, then we can E-Spirit, Bar Barrel for this, maybe Arrows, there's a lot of Arrows value there. And you can see we depleted his whole push, he's still gotta defend the other side. Um, and we can Royal Hogs. Um, he might have Dark Prince, but that's okay. Um, he actually just knighted the other side. Interesting. Um, and he didn't guards the pigs. Another interesting thing. Um, but yeah, and then obviously Flying Machine is a great defensive card. It's also... Also, your cage is obviously a defensive card. Um, generally, when you're playing against Hog, um, you don't necessarily want to kite it over too far because you want... Um, you want your brawler to be hitting it after. So some people play it right at the bridge um, as soon as they see it, like just crossing the bridge, but to where it'll stay in front. Um, uh, everybody plays them differently, so I don't really know what the right way is, but yeah, GG's to that guy, and I will see you guys in the next match. Um, I don't know if anybody enjoys the life rants or not. It's probably, it's probably annoying for the most part, but... Uh, you know, it's nice to talk about, I guess. Um, but if you, you know, would prefer I just shut up, you know, you can definitely say that. Um, pretty bad on my part um, to rid recruits in the back. Um, that's usually not a great play, but he did also send a 5 elixir into it. I um, mean, he got a decent damage. But we'll see what he has for this. Oh, it's Eagle. I'm just going to arrows the guards. That way you can focus on the elixir golem. Um... Maybe not the smartest play in the world, but I think we'll be all right. The flying machine got two hits. We can e-spirit for this, and damage is going to be pretty split. You actually get a lot more over here. I did not expect that. Um, so I guess you can say well-timed or terribly timed hogs. I don't even... Well, I mean, you probably need it, but you can see we got nothing there. Um, he's also got Valk, Wizard, and Princess. Um... Yeah, it feels like a pretty awful matchup. We're going to take some more damage here, too. We don't have a way to defend. I don't think bar barreling would be worth it. Um, so, I'm just going to flying machine late. Hopefully, get a little bit of damage. If not, then we're just going to reset. We got our um, recruits Evo and cycle. I'm going to E-Spirit. Okay, yeah. Uh, we can defend this. There, We could recruits, but I'm... We're not going to be able to defend it, so I'm just going to um, get ready to recruits in the back. Um, and then we can archers behind as well. Um, yeah, this is... It's always rough playing against a, a guy with a lot of splash damage, but it's not the end of the world. I'm just going to arrows that. Get ready to hogs. Um, hopefully when the... Uh, well, we didn't need the flying machine because the wizard ended up dying, but we can hogs now. Um, it's a little split. It is tanking for the flying machine, though, so the flying machine is going to get a lot of damage. We just need to put ourselves in a spot where we can take one of the towers. Looks like we can get pretty close to taking the tower on the left. So I'm not using a building. Instead, I'm using troops because I want... Um, I want the counter push. So we're going to get ready to do throw some hogs down. Once again, we caught the princess. I don't know why he's princessing at the bridge. Um, I guess to not give to not give spell value, but yeah, I guess he doesn't have any other way to bait it out, so he might as well. Because um, he knows we're just going to... He knows we're just going to arrows it. So we're in a great spot right now, by the way. Um, if we can defend um, just one more time with the spirit, hopefully... Um, he did zap, so it's gonna... Actually, he did connect, but... He does have to defend all this. I haven't seen a spell other than zap, to my knowledge. Um, we did miss the guard slightly, but we're gonna go in. We're just gonna keep going in here. We need to put on pressure. He's also gotta deal with the left side. You can see that King Tower is actually getting really low. 
and the wizard and the bridge got caught that's kind of funny um yeah not my best game i've ever played probably one of my worst but we did all right um we got the win and he he had an all right matchup i guess i don't know probably not anyways ggs to this guy and i'll see you guys in the next match all right should be the final match here against myself and miguel yo soy miguel just graveyarded um i don't know if he's giving up it doesn't look like it i mean he played it right the archer obviously is cleaning up very nicely especially with no tank so he does have fireball i wonder if this is an all spell deck definitely could be and like a well, I don't know, he's taking a lot of damage on the left there. Well, if it's all spells, we have a good good deck for it, I would say. Um, well, just because recruits, really, that's the only reason. And if he uses his fireball on our pigs, then we can flying machine for free. And I'm going to flying machine to DPS down the Valk. And I should also switch to the it's Lava Hound with Graveyard. Oh, that cage came down too late. Yeah, that sucks. Um, flying machine just shredding that lava hound. We can e-spirit to soak up a little bit more damage, and then he's graveyarding again. So we'll just do a late bar barrel. Um, there's nothing tanking for it. It's still got a decent damage. It actually put him in the damage lead. So I guess good for him. Uh, I really really hope I don't lose to this. That would be slightly embarrassing. But I think once we get our evos out, we'll be fine. Um, we do have pretty good air answers, um, other than the fact we only have arrows. Um, usually this deck runs fireball or... Well, it's fireball, but I I ran poison with it. Um, just get to evo archers over here. He does fireball the flying machine. That does give our pigs room to fly. So once we can get rid of that counter push uh, no, I honestly wouldn't have been surprised to see freeze there so I was getting ready with arrows but he did just use fireball um, like two cards ago so we can pigs here uh, yeah it looks like he didn't have a great answer he's back to Valk now though but it's only hitting one of the pigs right now so that's really nice damage um, Obviously, we can't mess up um, a goblin cage, or not a goblin cage, a lava hound tanking for a graveyard is going to be very difficult to defend. That's just something I need to be aware of and not let happen. Um, and, or if it does happen, I need to be ready for it. Like if he um, graveyards now, um, I have E Spirit and arrows, and there is archer sitting there, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to arrows just to be extra safe, kill all the lava pubs. Um, and then we just need that did so much damage what got what got all that damage was it is it the graveyard just get a hogs here he's got a fireball probably and yeah, no he's actually gonna scar me which is pretty smart by him I just need a little bit of damage to be able to spell cycle that's kind of why I'm spamming a little bit but it looks like it's not gonna work out so we need to defend the other side it's kind of scary um, it was 254, right? Now down to 124? Or am I crazy? Well, we'll send Hogs anyways. Um, he's got to defend it. There's no way around it. Um, and then I'm just going to try to cycle back. Um, by the time... Lava Hound doesn't do much damage, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, yeah. Ooh, um, I'm going to give him the good game because... Uh, I don't know. It was closer than it should have been. I'm a little embarrassed. But <laughs> anyway, um, GG's to that guy. And I will go ahead and show you the battle log. Alright. So you can see we have been winning. Oh, I'm also uh, playing that rocket game mode or whatever it was. Um, just to get my cannoneer leveled up we did lose with hog xinado but you can see four now so yeah if you guys want to try out this deck it's really strong i don't know what you would switch if you didn't have any of these things um but yeah ggs everybody i played and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace